Hey everyone, in this medical terminology lesson, I'm going to talk to you guys specifically about anatomical terms. Um, so this is actually a continuation of my medical terminology, the basics lesson series. So if you haven't watched that, I would suggest you watch that first before you watch this one. Um, so in this lesson, there's going to be a lot of prefixes and suffixes um, about anatomy. So there's going to be a lot of terms. So I would suggest taking notes as I go through this lesson. So to begin, I'm going to try to go from head to toe um, and go through the anatomy uh, in that progression. So to begin at head and neck anatomy, the first word is cephalo, which means head. The next one, facio, which means face. Uh, cranio, skull, so you can think of um, a craniotomy, uh, a kind of a, an incision into the skull. The next one is trico, which means uh, hair. Now, um, this one you might not hear much about, but uh, you could have heard of the um, obsessive condition known as trichotillomania, or the obsessive need to pull out hair. The next one is stoma, or oro. They both denote the mouth, so you might have heard of stomatitis, um, inflammation of the mouth. The next one is glosso, or lingo, lingual. Um, which denote the tongue. So um, you might have heard of glossitis, um, which would be an inflammation of the tongue. The next one is labio or kilo, which denotes the lips. So these ones um, you might not have heard of too often. Uh, kilo, kilosis, is a, um, a, a condition that causes um, a redness on the lips um, that is typically involved in a vitamin B2 deficiency. The next one is dent or odonto, which denotes the teeth. So that's easy to remember. Um, you know dentist, dentistry, um, odontogenic, all denoting something involving the teeth. The next one is ginjo, gingivo, uh, it's hard to say, um, which means gums. So you guys know gingivitis or an inflammation of the gums. The next one is rhino or naso which denotes the nose. So rhinitis, inflammation of the nose when you get a cold, a viral rhinitis. Um, so they all just denote um, a condition involving the nose. The next one is buccal, so cheek. Um, so if you take a buccal swab, if you take a swab and check um, um, and collect um, some cell sample from the inside of the cheek, a buccal sample. Buccal just means cheek. So the next one is genio or mento, which means chin. So you might not have heard of this one too much. Um, genio um, or mento, mental, you might have heard of mental foramen. Um, that, uh, that's just a hole in your mandible that actually, or near your chin that actually uh, your, some of your arteries and nerves actually come out of that foramen. Um, and genio gloss is just a muscle uh, near the chin. So just genio and mento just denote the chin. The next one is mandibulo, which means mandible. That's very easy to remember. Mandible is just your lower jaw. And then the maxillo or maxilla, your upper teeth, the bone that supports your upper teeth. So the next uh, group of head and neck anatomy terms, um, the first one is sile adeno, uh, which just stands for salivary gland, sile adeno. Um, adeno, um, all you have to remember is adeno actually just stands for gland typically. Um, so sile um, for sal salivary, so sile adeno. Anything with adeno typically involves gland. Tracheo, um, which for uh, for trachea, and that's easy to remember. Um, tracheitis, an inflammation of the trachea. Laryngeal um, larynx. You might have a you might have had an, a laryngoscope, um, a just a um, a scope down your larynx. The next one is pharyngeal or for throat. Um, so you might have a pharyngitis, a sore throat. The next one is thyro, um, which just stands for thyroid gland. So the next one is epiglot, um, which just stands for epiglottis. The epiglottis is just the, the flap that covers your, your, um, your windpipe when you swallow. And you might have heard of something called epiglottitis, um, which is um, common, more common in children. The next one is auto, which just stands for ear. Um, now you might have heard of 
um, otitis, um, inflammation of the ear, otitis media, um, inflammation of the middle ear. The next one is meringeo or tympano. Both just denote the eardrum or tympanic membrane. The next one is cochleo, um, just uh, representing the cochlea, the kind of the snail-shaped um, portion of your inner ear um, involved in sound reception. The next one is mastoido, um, which just stands for the mastoid process. The mastoid process is just the bone behind your ear. Now, sometimes you might have heard of something called mastoiditis, um, inflammation of the mastoid process, and that can be a sign of a, an ear infection as well. So the next group of anatomy I want to look at is the eye. And there's a lot of different ana uh, anatomical terms related to the eye, so I separated that out um, away from the head and neck anatomy. So the first one is uh, just the medical terminology for the eye itself. So opto, optho, oculo. They all stand for the eye. So uh, you might have heard of an optometrist, an ophthalmologist. Um, you might have heard of the oculomotor nerve. They all stand for or de denote um, the eye or something related to the eye. The next one is uh, pupilo, um, which just stands for the pupil, which, which is easy to remember. The next one is blepharo or Palpebro, um, those are hard to say. Uh, that just stands for the eyelid. So you uh, might have heard of uh, a muscle, levator palpebrae superioris. It's a muscle involved in lifting the upper eyelid. So the next one is conjunctivo, which just stands for the conjunctiva or the um, the lining um, of your the inner lining of your eyelids and usually they call this the first line of defense for any microorganisms that might come into your eye and you might get a reaction um, during certain um, illnesses that could, could cause conjunctivitis, um, the inflammation of this lining. So the next one is ophrio. Um, that just stands for the eyebrow and you rarely hear this term. The next one is a retino, um, which just stands for the retina of the eye. Now, you might have heard of uh, uh, retinal detachment or uh, retinitis, something related to the retina. That's all that just stands for. Very easy to remember. So the next one is kerato, which just stands for the cornea. Um, so now you might have heard of something called exposure keratitis. Um, sometimes people have problems with closing their eye. You'll get too much exposure, um, too much light exposure, for instance, on the cornea. You can get a, a exposure keratitis or inflammation of the cornea. The next one is erido, which just stands for iris, the iris of the eye, the colored portion of your eye, the colored muscle. The next one is hyalo, which just stands for vitreous humor of the eye, that kind of gelatinous uh, substance within the um, middle of your eye, your eyeball, I should say. The next one is um, dacryo adeno, and again, as I mentioned before, adeno always stands for gland. Dacryo actually means tear, so um, it's the tear gland or the lacrimal gland. And here's a picture of that. The, the lacrimal gland is on the lateral side of your eyes. And then lacrimal usually de denotes lacrimal or tear duct uh, where, the, um, where your tears actually drain into. So the next system I want to talk to you guys about is the digestive system. So there's a, uh, again, there's a lot of anatomical uh, medical terminology in this system. So again, just take notes for this section. So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is cilio or lapro, which um, denotes uh, the abdomen or belly. Now you might have not, maybe don't really recognize this, but um, just think of celiac disease um, or a laparoscopic uh, surgery. So those are um, just denoting something involving the abdomen or belly. The next one is gastro. Um, which denotes the stomach. Now, I've talked about some of these terms in the um, medical terminology basics lesson, but I'm just going to go over them again just for completion. So gastro um, meaning stomach, so um, uh, gastritis, an inflammation of the stomach. Um, pyloro, um, a pyloric sphincter um, is just where the, the chyle from the stomach actually goes first um, from the stomach into the duodenum. That's the, bi uh, the pyloric sphincter or the pyloro. The next term is the cholecyst, um, which just stands for the uh, gallbladder. So you can think of cholecystitis, uh, the uh, inflammation of the gallbladder. The next one is cholidocho, 
um, which just stands for the common bile duct. The next one is collie or collio, um, and, um, or billy, which denote bile. So you can think of billy bluebin. The next one is um, cholangio, or col um, which stands for bile duct itself. Um, and this could be, um, you could might have heard of a cholangitis, um, inflammation of the bile duct. Entero, denoting um, the intestines, so enteritis or gastroenteritis, sometimes they um, combine those two terms. The next one is pancreato um, for pancreas, so a pancreatitis, again, inflammation of the pancreas. So then the next group of words, um, um, we'll start more into the um, small intestines. So the first one is um, the duodenal, um, which just stands for the um, duodenum. So um, this is just the first section of the small intestine. So you might have heard of a, a duodenectomy. Maybe a, there's an, a surgical removal of part of the duodenum. The next one is jejunal, so the jeju just standing for the jejunum, second section of small intestine. So again, you could have a, jejun a jejunectomy, uh, uh, again, surgical removal of a part of the jejunum. The next one is ilio, um, which stands for the ilium. Um, which is the third section of the small intestine. So you might have heard of the ileocecal valve, or the end of the where the um, end of the ileum meets up with the beginning of the cecum. Um, that's the ileocecal valve, all just standing again for ileum. The next one is the um, appendo or appendico, uh, which just stands for the appendix. So that's again easy. Appendicitis um, is an easy way to remember that one. And the appendix is just the worm-like or vermiform structure that dangles off of the cecum, or the first part of the ascending colon. The next one is ceco, or uh, typhlo, which just denotes the cecum. So again, as I mentioned before, ileocecal valve, that's just denoting um, a valve involving the ilium and the cecum. The next one is colo, or colono, um, which just denotes uh, the large intestine or colon. Um, and so this is easy, colitis, inflammation of the large intestine, um, colonoscopy, um, a, a visual inspection uh, via a scope into the colon. The next one is sigmoido, um, standing for the sigmoid colon. So you could have heard of a sigmoidoscopy. There's a type of scope that just looks at the sigmoid colon. And the last part of the digestive system is the anal or procto. Um, standing for anus or rectum. So you could have heard of a proctologist, um, a specialist in the area of um, this part of the digestive system. Anyways, guys, that was the, um, the first lesson on an, uh, anatomical terms for medical terminology. Um, I hope you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.